Alright, so here is what I've got. The Xbox Collector's Edition of ODST. This is the Collector's Edition controller. It's a, just a normal battery backpack, not charging. Uh, and it's black, so I guess if you want to stay within the scheme of things, you can get the black packs very easily. It's got a nice uh, kind of theme going on where it's a property of UNSC and uh, Kikowani. Kiko is, uh, I guess, I think the gamer tag of one of the developers over there at Bungie. And uh, let's see if there's anything on Sadie around here. I don't think so. Maybe there's uh, something about John 117? Not even. Well, I guess he's not even featured in this, right? Oh well. Yep, so I'm pretty satisfied. I mean, the game costs just a little bit more than the standalone copy, and you get a controller with it. So, controllers, always fun to have. I've got many, more than four. <laughs> uh, Pre-order bonus, you got the Sarge and DLC. Uh, yeah. So, pretty cool. And of course the package says that uh, I've got the Halo Reach multiplayer beta whenever that comes around. It's not out yet, I believe. And yeah. Prepare to drop. So this one is, uh, of course, the new campaign with Firefight. Disc 2 is um, just Halo 3 in multiplayer, but on a standalone disc. Uh, apparently you can install this and it will improve your performance, uh, whereas this is pretty much exactly like Halo 3. Oops, sorry, there's light in the way. It's pretty much like Halo 3 and uh, will actually have diminishing returns if you install it on the hard drive of the Xbox. So that's it. Uh, of course the packaging uh, it came in was this huge plastic box uh, with uh, Halo theme advertisements in the back which are pretty much this and the content of the box itself. Uh, very easy to open, like extremely easy to open and I think it's entirely recyclable so that's a plus, right? Um, Alright, uh, yeah, so that's it for now. I'll be playing this thing and uh, putting my impressions on uh, the blog soon. Okay, see you then.